Hello guys, Anomaly here, and uh, I am making this video in the middle of the fucking night, but it's all good, you know, I am vampire, like, uh, like, uh, the twilight, yes, only difference is, I don't suck blood, I suck cock. So, in this video I'm going to talk about float value, what it is, uh, how rare different float values are, and how f the float of the weapon affects the price. My friend Terlux has actually made a video about this already, but he explains more, you know, the formula of trade-up contracts and stuff like that. I'll link his video in my description. Oh, Triluxia! Oh, yeah, ich liebe Triluxia! Mm. Oh, Trilux bist mein Senpai! Yeah, ja, Triluxia! Mm. So what is float value? Well, float value is a number which defines the amount of scratches on a weapon. For example, this M9 looks really clean on both sides, does really have any significant scratches or anything. Here's the play side, it looks really nice, and you see there are no uh, big scratches or anything. And here's another M9 which looks really, really bad. A lot of scratches, a lot of uh, really just aids in general. This is actually the worst uh, M9 slaughter uh, there is, so. You can see the play side on this one, it's just nice pattern, but it's horrible uh, exterior wear. Of course, this one is field tested, and the other one is factory new, but the core difference is the float value, that's what differs the weapon. Factory new and field tested are only s subgroups which different float values are assigned to. I'm really bad at explaining this. So why is it called float value? Well, in programming, a number which is a whole number is called an integer, and a number which has a decimal point is called a float value. So, csgo.exchange is a website where you can check your float, and it's very good. I use this, I've even donated to the site so I get access to all the extra features. Uh, for example, we can see here the float of my Dragon Lore is 0 0.02, which is, which is good. That is above average, better than average, and is good. Uh, if we go to Item Showcase, uh, we can also see that it's been heavily duped, which uh, affects the value of the item, and it affects the item itself. If you want to, I can explain that in another video, but in this video, I don't really think that it has any significance, so I won't explain this in detail. So, for example, we can select all weapons and uh, all skins and select low wear, which is the best wear, and we can see the top list of the items that are registered on this site. So, we can see here that the third item, a Galil Blue Titanium with a float of 0 0.0000002 is owned by... Ah, oh, hello guys! Why hello there? So... I'll show you some of the low float items that I have. The lower the float value of the weapon, the better it is. The more the value increases, etc, etc. So, this Galil Blue Titanium is the third lowest uh, registered item on CSGO.exchange. This one is obviously worth much, much, much more than market price because of the low float. I've even named it uh, the float and put stickers on it so I don't accidentally use it in a trade-up contract. That would uh, that would suck, that would suck. How much could this Galil be worth? Well, there isn't really a set price for it, it's more like, uh, you know, finding the right buyer, finding, uh, making him pay the right price, etc, etc, but I'd say around 20-30 keys easily. An example of a really bad float is this Battle Scarred Nova Polar Mesh, which literally looks like a vanilla skin. Now, uh, it's worth more because of the fact that it's so Battle Scarred, but don't expect anything <laughs> spectacular since it literally has AIDS in the form of a skin. I paid, I think, two or three keys for this one, only for the fact, d uh, partly because of I wanted to sh f feature it in this video, but also because it... Uh, it legit looks like a vanilla skin, and it's cool. So yeah, if you find the right buyer, your 0 0.03 Battle Scarred Nova Polar Mesh could be worth up to uh, 8 euros or so, if you find the right buyer. If it has a very, very bad float, or a good float, you know, a rare float. So here are the float-based weapons that I currently have on this account. I have a few other, for example, the best Deagle Cobalt Disruption in the world, and stuff like that. This is actually a cool item, and probably the coolest that I have of the float-based items, because this is a gut knife fade, factory new, 
and it's fully, fully, fully faded. And it's the best float full fade gut knife in the game. Which makes this a very, very rare and expensive weapon because of two reasons. One, it has an extreme float, and two, it's fully faded, so it's the most uh, attractive gut knife. Earlier in the video, I showed you the float of my op dragon lore, which is a, it's a good float. This is easily worth more than 800 keys. 830, 830 I could easily get for this one. Since this is one of the most expensive items in the game, how much would a really, really, really good float op dragon lore cost? Click here to see the next part, because I'm not fucking rendering a 13 minute video at fucking 8 a.m. in the morning, because I'm way too tired for that. It takes so long time. My computer's so fucking loud, dude. I can't sleep. I don't give a shit. Just click. I'll fucking upload it tomorrow, dude. It's all good!